in this video, the Python append list method. So what do I mean by append? Well, let's just say we create a little list here and we'll call this a equals one, two, three. Well, how would we add more values to this list? Well, one of the main ways to do that is using the append list method. And that would look something like this. So we do a dot append four. And when we display a again, we get one, two, three, four. So in this video, we'll go over the basics of the append list method and as well, because it is a pretty easy method, I'm also going to get into some of the gotchas and some of the more tricky parts and go a little bit more in depth. So I would also want to mention at this point in time that I have a whole list method series that you should take a look out for a whole playlist. And this is the first video in the playlist because we're going in alphabetical order. So keep a lookout for that. But without further ado, let's get into it in more detail. So I guess the first thing I would say is that append is only for lists. So let's just say we had another uh, value called b equals hey, and we have a string. Well, you can't do a dot append for here because string has no attribute append. And you're going to get a similar error for sets, for dictionaries, etc. So this is really only for lists. And we can check the type of a and see that it's a list. And really, it's only for lists. So that's just the first thing I want to go over. Next, I want to talk about what happens when you append different uh, data structures, different types to our list. And so what I mean by that is let's just say we did a dot append and then we'll throw a list in here. I don't know, let's call this five, six, seven. Well, what do you think is going to happen? Do you think it's going to print out cleanly as one list or do you think we're going to have a nested list? Well, we run that, we print out a again and we get a nested list. So it's always going to add that kind of, it's not going to extend it. Uh, if you want the extend list method, I'm going to make another video for that. It's going to append. And so we could try to do another value here. Let's just call it a, let's just do a little string called hey. And we can add that. We can add strings. Uh, what else can we add? We could add a dictionary, um, something like that. So we can add dictionaries. We can add all kinds of different values. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to reiterate that. You know, a lot of people get caught up with lists and they think, okay, if we add a list, it'll kind of like extend the list, but no, you're going to get some nested lists. So this is a nested list. Uh, this 100 is a nested list. So that's something that you want to keep an eye out for. Next, I want to show you how you can do operations within the append method. And I'll show you what I mean. So let's create a new list again, just to kind of clean things up. So we have a here and we could do something like a dot append i for i in range, I don't know, let's just say range five. And we print out a and here we have a nested list with those five values. And personally, I just think it's pretty cool that you can do operations within the append list method. And it doesn't just have to be list comprehensions. Uh, so what else could we do? We could do something with strings as well. So we could do, hey, and then, uh, I don't know, another string, Python. And then that, that operation of the concatenating the strings took place before it uh, was appended to our list. So that's two examples of operations that can occur inside the append list method. And I think that a lot of people don't use this often enough. The next thing I want to review is how that the list append method actually returns none. And we can look at a little bit of documentation. And this says the list append method doesn't return anything. You can also say that the list append method returns none. So what do I mean? Let's look at an example. So we'll create a new list, uh, our classic a equals one, two, three. And you know by now that we can do a dot append four. And we, we display our list again, and we have uh, one, two, three, four. Simple, right? Well, there's a common issue that um, I see people do, and they'll do something like this, and they'll do a equals a dot append four. And what do you think is going to happen when I go to display this? What do you think is going to happen? Well, <laughs> there's no value anymore. And that's because you basically did the equivalent of saying a equals none. It's basically the same as writing this. 
And we can actually check that. We could do a equals none. This is a, a check and it says true. So a truly does equal none. When we did this, that was basically the equivalent of saying a equals none. It's the same thing. So you really got to look out for not trying to recreate the list. So let's just say you had a list like my list equals whatever, 100. And it's pretty common to be like, okay, my list equals uh, my list dot append, whatever. Do not do this. This is not going to end well for you. So just keep in mind that you never want to reassign it. Uh, you just want to run the method, uh, you know, doing whatever you want to do, right? And so now we can do my list and there should be two values there. And we can actually confirm this as well through reading some Stack Overflow questions. And I found two here that I found particularly helpful. So why does append always return none in Python? And you can come down here and read that append is a mutating destructive operation. Basically, it modifies the, the list in place. It modifies the current list instead of returning a new list. So it modifies the existing list. It doesn't return a new list. And I think there was another good answer here. It doesn't return anything. Yeah, same kind of thing. Here, another explanation that I liked. Um, same question, basically. And it says, List.append is a method that modifies the existing list. It doesn't return a new list. It returns none, like most methods that modify a list. And um, I was looking for another answer that I saw here, but basically the general idea is that for all Python list methods, um, they're destructive operations, they're modifying the list in place, and that's why they're pretty much all going to return none. So those are kind of the two things, um, just kind of reviewing a bit, two things I really wanted to show you, one being how, you know, this A equals none type thing that you'll come across, and the other one being how uh, you can do list comprehensions and other types of operations in append. You don't just have to straight up append a value, you can really do operations as well. So those are the two uh, cool things I wanted to show you guys in addition to the very basic Python list append method. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.